Hello friends, it is Monday, July 9th, 2018, and the high today was 94 staggering degrees. I figured I would start over here for a tour today instead of in the front and weave you through for something different. Didn't get to this early in the morning, so here we are in the afternoon. All of the vining plants and the arch trellis are coming along quite nicely. As you can see, most of them are about midway up the trellis, uh, and several of them are well beyond it, especially if we pan over and we zoom here. You can see that uh, squash on the other side is almost to the apex of the arch, which is pretty cool. I might spend some time this afternoon after it cools off going through and just making sure that all of the vines are going in the direction that I want them to. Pan to the gooseberries. I made my first dish with gooseberries this weekend, and it was pretty okay. I, uh, I made the mistake. I couldn't find a good recipe in English that I wanted, so instead I was uh, looking for a, a German recipe, and I think I made some translation errors. Um, you know, the solid foods like the gooseberries tend to be weighed in grams, and I was trying to convert it to cups for a solid. It just didn't work. Anyways, um, this is a very prolific bush, and it was quite good. It was just tart. I think the flour and stuff didn't mix well. Anyways, fun fact about gooseberries. Um, so when I was introduced to this wonderful fruit, it wasn't in the word gooseberry, but the German Stachelbeer. And uh, I, I never thought of the etymology until I was harvesting. Um, Stacheln is the German for to sting. And uh, if you take a look at these beautiful thorns that are about half an inch long, uh, you can see why. Yeah, the, my Stachelbeeren uh, drew some blood <laughs> as I was harvesting. Kind of fun. The raspberries are all wonderful. The black jewels in particular are just cool looking. You know, they're so different for me, so they're novel and exciting. Oopsies. Yeah. Good looking berries. Can I focus? Maybe I can focus. I'm still getting the hang of this. Oh, wait. There it is. So they're coming along nicely, as are the rest of the raspberries. And I think I showed you the tiger lilies last time. They're just gorgeous, just gorgeous. I took a picture of these and I set it as my uh, background on my computer. So, over to the corn, eh? Corn's looking pretty great. I don't have any um, tassels coming up, but that's okay, I'm sure they're coming soon. I do have my very first little sunflower. In fact, we've got two of them. So, take a gander at this first. Isn't that pretty? Just lovely. That was the first one to come. That came uh, middle of the week last week, Wednesday, I think. And then, underneath the breeze here, the sunflower. So we've got some cheery plants, and I'm very happy for that. No real change to the potatoes, as you'd expect. And the, uh, what is this, the spaghetti squash I'm so pleased. Um, the original plant is like right here, and I've encouraged it all to grow in this direction, and it has done exactly what I encouraged it to. And I'm expecting uh, this will start making some vegetables fruiting out nice and soon. Um, peppers are massive, as you can see. We've had kind of a dry spell here for a while. I really do need to get to watering it, but I've got stuff I should harvest. I mean, just look at the, all these jalapenos. The banana peppers look gorgeous. I need to make some uh, salsa. That's what I need to do. And the tomatoes have gotten out of control. <laughs> um, I need to redo some of the wire and uh, stake these guys up, and I think I'm going to thin it out too, because I don't know what they're getting for airflow in there. But, as you can see, if I squat down, See those lovely red tomatoes hiding behind the leaves? Let's, uh, oh, I've got some spider web on my lens. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. 
It's the good stuff. Yeah, these look, these look spectacular. So even though the airflow is not the best, I'm still getting good looking and, mmm, excellent tasting tomatoes. What a good feeling to enjoy your first tomato of the season. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So, you could say that my zucchini is faring well. <laughs> it is. I harvested the first one last week Wednesday, and it was like, all it needed was one to go away for the rest of them to go gangbusters. I mean, there's a nice big one to pull. This is a good one to just like pull and cut into slices. That's going to be a big one. we got another big one over there. Zucchini. Man, I tell you, if you're afraid of killing things, you just cannot kill zucchini. Kale looks good. Onions look good. I mean, they're just going to look like this for the rest of the year. So not much to focus on. And again, the lettuce is nice and green. The, the spinach, I waited too long. I didn't harvest the, um, the leaves when I probably should have. So I got to get to that and then probably just reseed that. I, uh, my beets, they're coming to a point when I can harvest them too. You know, I get down here, take a look compared to my fingers. It's a good looking beet right there. At least half of them are. I think the other ones take a little while longer in the germination. Because like if you look over here to these yellowish ones, it's just like a tiny little tuber underneath it. It almost looks more like a carrot. See that? It's not that big. So I'm going to give those ones a little bit longer to grow. Uh, the radishes that I reseeded aren't doing anything. And I think it's too soon to pull carrots. Yeah, like I got nothing going on down here. Which I'm kind of concerned by. But, oh well, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Back and on out. The garden just looks lovely. So this is a pretty chill garden tour. Trees are good. I think I told you before, the peach tree is finally taller than I am. Peaches themselves are coming along well. Um, they're starting to change color. Like this one is some sort of a yellow right now. Yeah, that's really pretty. With a little bit of red highlights on the top. It's nice. Good peach fuzz. I had a viewer give me a suggestion that I should change this to something a little bit more flexible, so I've still got to get on that. Otherwise, that's the garden. So, pretty, pretty down-to-earth tour this week. Nothing earth-shattering. Garden just looks lovely. How's yours look? Be sure to let me know in the comments down below if you're new. I hope you subscribe. And uh, if you're having a heat wave like I am, Tell me how you are getting by, what you're doing to your plants to make sure they don't die, and anything else. Thank you very much. As always, happy gardening, happy woodworking. Bye-bye.